Hi, welcome to Social Research Insights. Uh, Social Research Insights is not a business organization, it is just a freelance training outfit. We are just a couple of individuals who are interested in providing training for data science, analytics, 3D modeling and animation, um, uh, IoT, blockchain, etc. 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 Uh, this is one of my video cast uh, in series of uh, presentations uh, related to uh, creating virtual appli reality applications for business organizations. I would like to create a series of uh, uh, presentations uh, for uh, uh, virtual reality applications uh, for a particular domain of operations called marketing uh, management. Uh, this is uh, one of the videos uh, in continuation to my previous videos in which I explained about various aspects of uh, GUI, a uh, graphic user interface of uh, Blender like what is the file menu, render menu and uh, scene, um, render engines and uh, this uh, various other uh, tabs on uh, the viewport and um, different modes of uh, uh, work and uh, many other uh, things and in this video I'm going to show I I'll also explain uh, how to move the shape in the scene uh, just uh, as by using uh, left mouse button right mouse button middle scroll button something like that in this video I'm going to show you a couple of actions uh, that are very necessary to model the shapes um, uh, they are known as uh, scale, rotation, extrusion, intrusion and these are some of the important activities one need to know in order to tinker the shape available from the scene setup or the viewport. Um, suppose if you open the blender the very first uh, view of the blender is going to be like this you will be having a default cube in your scene uh, I'm going to start my Mm, lecture by uh, showing you how to extrude operation extrude it's very simple um, y uh, to extrude any shape in the scene uh, can be done by pressing the letter E on the keyboard just like this and once you I mean uh, you just have to go to the edit mode <laughs> and ensure that you are in the face I mean these are called the se selection mechanisms these are the selections. Uh, th uh, there are three different selections in Blender available. This is a vertices, vertex select, selection, edge selection, face selection. Uh, once you are in the edit mode, and if you use your right mouse button, just like this, you'll be able to choose any one of the faces. And uh, suppose if I want to extrude the upper uh, topmost uh, face of the cube, then uh, see that it is selected and then press letter E on the keyboard just like this and you will find a direction um, here there is a blue uh, vertical line activated when I pressed letter E on the keyboard and once you do that you just have to move the mouse you, you, you don't need to worry which button you need to do. you don't need to press the left mouse button LMB in short right mouse button RMB in short you just have to move the mouse in in the axis uh, it is actually the blue vertical line which denotes the Z axis so we are literally moving the shape I mean the face in Z axis direction now suppose if you want to uh, freeze your shape uh, 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 suppose if I want to freeze my shape at this point uh, on the axis then I just have to press left mouse button then your shape will be will be freezed at that particular point in and then um, this is what is called the extrusion and let me press uh, control chat to go back to my previous uh, uh, shape and now suppose if you want to intrude then you just have to I mean anyone not you or me but um, the letter I on the keyboard is useful to uh, practice intrusion let me mm, move my I mean zoom let me zoom the shape a bit uh, to make it very <laughs> uh, now choose the shape now I think I I I have I, st I still have my yeah shape is um, the select the face and now let me go little bit 
and let me rotate this I have covered all these activities in my previous uh, now my top face is selected now let me press letter I on the keyboard and now you can see that little now you cannot extrude please be you cannot go beyond the existing boundaries of the face you can just drag inside so that uh, um, you can intrude the face now this is what is called the intrusion you still want to go in then again press I just go in something like this but you see there are there are what is this if I press my uh, edge button you see these are all extra edges created as a matter of matter of my uh, actions now if I pay press this select vertex select uh, button then you see they're all what is this I let me zoom in and let me rotate so that it is see these are all what is this created as by we just now created um, now the third action is going to be the scale now you just have to uh, select the go to the face selection and and suppose if you want to scale this press the S button on the keyboard and just go by the you see this is how you can scale the scale the now before going to scale let me do one simple action I extrude this because we already done a couple of uh, intrude extrude kind of things now uh, since my edge is uh, I mean uh, the face is selected let me press E and let me extrude extrude this and let me freeze at this point on the axis and then uh, let me mm, let me go ahead and uh, do one more extrusion now so because I'm just uh, trying to make uh, this uh, loop edge uh, edge loop and now let me press yes and then you see now let me rotate this is how and now let me press E go up let me press I to intrude and let me press E again pull it down pull it up and then I'm sorry uh, I did not choose yeah now uh, let me rotate the shape and show you how this 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 way we can just simply um, tinker the shape or the model uh, the existing shape in the scene now suppose if uh, the fourth uh, important activity that is rotation suppose if you want to rotate you just have to press the letter R in your keyboard you see now you can just uh, rotate the so at any uh, given uh, point uh, uh, you can just uh, press left mouse button then it will be freezed now let me rotate and show you the shape so this way you just go ahead and do all these four important steps while modeling the existing shape in this scene uh, this is just uh, I wanted to cover in my second uh, video so now I have shown you how to extrude, intrude, scale and rotate these shapes in order to model the in order to model those shapes in blender okay thanks for watching this video if you like my video please press like and stay tuned for the new content uh, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel thank you